Okay, so it's fully alloyed now. We have that beautiful light color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. Right now, it's so liquid that if I try to separate it, it won't separate. You know, it'll just roll back together. Mm -hmm. So you wait until you see a little particles start to form on top. And I'll, I'll, I'll yell, well, I won't yell, but I'll say something when I see it. And that's the right temperature to separate it. Okay, smooth, smooth, smooth. And they're coming, and there they are. You see the little particles? Mm, oh wow. That's like the perfect temperature that it's hot enough that you can just like split it, like so, wow. okay? So awesome. this is going to be our sheet. So we don't have to alloy it again, but I'm just going to heat it up till it makes a nice blob. And this is one ounce, right? Yes. So I made one side a little bigger because you said you wanted a little more water. Yeah. And what I'm going to also do, as soon as I turn the torch off, I'm going to go grab the end of a charcoal block and we're just going to press this guy down a little bit. Okay. And then we'll flip the block over and I'll show you how to make the ending. This is super fun. Actually, just hold that on there. You don't have to do anything, just stay right there. Beautiful. Take this back. Also, have to turn it off. And I'm going to use a clean end, you know, with no binding wire on it. Okay. Then you very carefully squish it. If you squish too hard, gold could squirt, which you would really not want. Okay, I'll let that sit there for a sec. Because literally, when it's really hot liquid, and if you just took this and just went, bah, oh it could God. spread, which would suck a whole lot. So this just saves a few steps mm -hmm. going through the mill. Exactly. And it just helps to like keep some of the oxygen out, compress it a little bit. Yeah, it just kind of... So I'm going to take this and just flip it onto here, let it continue cooling there. I'm going to extremely carefully flip your block over okay. and then I'm going to put that other guy on there. Okay, the only thing I need is I'm going to steal your tweezers and put this guy up here. And then we're going to stretch it into a nice ingot because okay. okay, it's harder to get hot. So when the metal becomes totally liquid, what does it do? It just totally balls up, right? So this is sort of like you heat it up, you stretch it a little, you pull the heat away. You know, it's kind of a fine tuning thing to make the ingot. Can you repeat um, how it doesn't need to be too deep? Because I turned the Oh, video. yeah. Um, a common problem is people dig their charcoal box too deep and it's actually surprisingly hard to get your gold hot enough if you make it deep, especially if you do like deep and, and straight up and down. So mine are usually much more broad and shallow with kind of an angle coming out and it heats a lot faster. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll be right there. One second. We got gold in the hopper. So you see how you just... You see what I mean? You kind of like hold it together to get a beautiful little stick. And you're not going to get it like mega perfect, but you try to get it as even as you can reasonably manage because we're going to hammer it after this and go to the mill so the more even you can make it, you know, the more work you're saving yourself. Also, if you have real thick spots and real thin spots, 
you know, it might crack. And it always wants to form a little um, dip at the end, so just be aware of that. You know what I mean? It always wants to do that. So it's like mud pies, but for grown-ups. It takes a lot longer to get it hot. Yeah. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it'll take you a lot longer. And we have too many things to do to waste our time. You see how you kind of get it hot and like poke the thicker spots? I'm just gonna try to even that out in there a little bit and that's, and that's perfectly good. I just don't want to have that like thinner spot right there. There you go, that looks good. Okay? 